Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastytutes.com. In this tutorial we are going to create this interesting effect in Adobe Illustrator CS5. Now it's important to mention right before we begin that this can only be achieved in Adobe Illustrator CS1 to 5. So if you're using CS6 then I'm afraid that at the moment you will not be able to do this. So let's see how easy it is to create this effect. I have a normal image here in Illustrator. If I select this image and this little circle vector here in the middle of the canvas, and if I trigger the effect, there it is. That's pretty cool, right? Now, this effect was actually created using a plugin. This effect cannot be achieved normally in Illustrator, so if you want to have a go at this yourself, you will need to download and install the Scriptographer plugin. So now I'm going to explain how you can install this plugin yourself. If you already have the Scriptographer plugin installed, or you are a returning viewer, you can skip this part on the timeline. So you will need to come to the website scriptographer.org, link is in the description. Now this site has been offering scripts for a number of years, and a lot of them are pretty impressive. So we are going to go straight to the downloads page, and what you will see is a list of download links for the various Creative Suite packages. And as you can see here, it's currently only available for up to Creative Suite 5. I am using Illustrator CS5, so I'm going to download this. If you're using a lower version, then be sure to download the right one for you. Now, once you have downloaded this file, you need to locate your Adobe Illustrator folder on your computer. Make sure you do not have the program open. If you do, close it. I am on a Mac here, so I will come to Applications. And once I have found the Illustrator folder, I need to locate the Plugins folder. And I'm going to drag the downloaded Scriptographer folder right into the Plugins folder like so. PC users should do the same. And that's it we can now open Illustrator. Now, when you start Illustrator, you will be presented with a dialog box. And this will ask you to choose your Scriptographer Scripts folder. Try and create this somewhere you will remember later, perhaps in your Documents folder, and click OK. Now, what you will notice differently about Illustrator when you have installed your plugins is that you can now come to Window, and you will notice there is a new panel choice, Scriptographer. So you want to come down to this, and if you don't currently have the panel open, you can activate it here by clicking Show Main Palette. So now you should see this new Scriptographer panel right here. And in the panel, you should see three folders, Example, Tutorials, and Scripts. If you can see this, then you are on the right track. OK, so now we are ready to use the plugin and create our effect. So this is a document I am going to be working with, which I have prepared earlier. If you want to achieve the exact effects I am about to demonstrate and follow along, I suggest you download this document. The link is in the description. So as you can see, I have a row of small images across the top of my document and down the side here. And they are both of different sizes. I'll explain a little bit more about these shortly. And I also have a small vector circle here in the canvas, which I have drawn using the shape tool. So to use this script, we need to select both the circle vector and the small image we are about to process. So let's go ahead and click both the vector and the image. I can do this by selecting the first image and then by holding shift, I can select the circle vector to select multiple objects. So now we have both objects selected. Now with the scriptographer panel, we need to drop down the examples folder. This will reveal some more folders. Again, drop down on the rasters folder, and this will reveal a list of rasters we can use. We are going to select the first raster in this list, the color raster. Now, with this selected, we need to come to the bottom of the scriptographer panel, and you will see a series of icons. 
We want to come and click on the first icon on the left. This one looks like a play button. This is the execute script button. So once we click this, we will have a pop-up box to enter the raster value. Let's set the grid size to 13 and press OK. And upon clicking OK, this will generate our effect just like this. So that's the effect created. If I'm happy with this, I can either save the document or copy and paste into Photoshop. If I want to try another image, I can simply select my selection tool and click on the artwork and press delete and this will take me back to the start again. So let's try another image and that's looking pretty cool. Okay, so it's at this point that I must state that the outcome of this effect is strongly determined by the images you use. As you can see, I have two sets of images. They're all the same, but they are they are different in size. We have images across the top that are 50 by 50 pixels and images down the side on the left here that are 100 by 100 pixels. Not a lot of difference in them really, but this will make a big difference when we apply the effect. If I apply the raster effect to the 50 times 50 image, you will see we have a bold appearance. Let's go back. And if I use the same image, but this time it will be slightly bigger, 100 by 100 pixels, you will see that the same effect is applied, but there is a lot more detail. So here on the left, we have the effect created from the 50 times 50 image. And on the right, we have the effect from the 100 times 100 pixel image. So really, the choice is yours. And as you can imagine, the bigger image you use, the more detailing it will have. So bear that in mind. It's also important to mention that if you simply place an image into Illustrator, for example, a copy and paste from Google search, or you import an image from your computer and try and scale it down, this will not work. The image will have to be approximately scaled down. I prepared my images in Adobe Photoshop by simply opening them in Photoshop and changing the image size. And once I was happy with the image size, I then simply copied and pasted them from Photoshop into Illustrator. So that's how you can get an effect like this in Adobe Illustrator. Be sure to download the file, have a go yourself and experiment with your own images. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you wish to hear about more up and coming video tutorials and general creative news and updates, you can follow me on Twitter. If you liked the tutorial, go ahead and click the like button on my Facebook fan page and even add me as a friend. And of course, check out and subscribe for free to the tastytutes.com website. Well, that's it for another tutorial brought to you by tastytutes.com. So have fun guys and I'll see you next time.